Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. This time around, I heard about about the we need to find a shot. home for little Brian Wilkes. Hello. Now, just like everything on River City, it could be a bit hard to find. Nothing stops the railroad. Oh yeah, she was the one that um, gave me the part for the android. Hey. All right. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Nah. Ah, here we are. You don't look so tough. They call me sister. Don't ask. Uh huh. But you're a man. Why do they call you sister? Are you making fun of my name? It's a damn good thing for you. This place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Welcome uh -huh. to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Howdy. I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Aha. Uh -huh. Got a T-51B? No? Then you don't have everything. A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. No. See you later. Mm -hmm. That's secure for You're a reason. You're the one I want to talk to. If I can just get around Welcome this bloody robot. Weatherly Hotel. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Mm-hmm. Heard any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to Ken's. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. Mm-hmm. Your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think Brian will love his new home. We'll send him along shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Mm-hmm. Now. I also picked up something else from my time in Bridditch. Some ant queen pheromones. And I Nothing think there's someone the down here who might want to use them. I'll be right with you. How you doing? Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Do the men on the ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Mm-hmm. So, you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. I have some Ant Queen pheromones that might just do the trick. Really? Oh, thank you. I just know I can seduce Diego with this. Then he'll have to marry me. <laughs> we'll be so happy. Mm-hmm. See ya. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. No problem. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. All right. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of here. So, let's head back to uh, Great Itch and tell Brian the good news. Oh, Brian. Stairs. What the? Huh. Oh, I hope you found me a place to live. I sure did. Vera said she'd love to take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. And that should be a level up. Maybe no. Almost. Alright. Let's see now what do we do? Yeah, I suppose we could do aiding the outcasts. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. Mm-hmm. 
Now that's Bailey's Crossroads, which is all the way down here. I haven't discovered anything down there yet, so time to go for a walk. Contact. Let's see if I can get a sneak attack critical with the Stire. Yeah, sort of. America will never be destroyed from the outside. We falter and Oh yeah, level up finally. Voice Science up to fifty. Up up lock pick to eighty-five. And yeah, we'll put up no, not small guns. Sneak. This I need. Very much so. So, uh, light step. No more trap counter. Ooh, hi. No. That's it. I should be able to get you from here. Kidding you, I know I am. Alright then. blip over here. Oh shit! Wait. Ha ha ha. Die. This is a random encounter. Alright. Get off that corpse. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get. There we are. Wasteland Sepper. Schematics Deathclaw Gauntlet. Awesome. Alright. All painless. Do your thing. Oh, yeah. That's what a battle rifle is for. Anything on you? Yeah, a little bit. I'm still spawning with 32s. I'm level 14 now. Alright. Now, before we go in, I'm just going to make sure of a few things. All right, time to drill some muties. This is the perfect environment for a gun like this. Carbine size assault rifle. Hi, ghouls. Hi there. Not even an issue. Nothing else around here, is there? Tactical reload. Onto Bailey's Crossroads. Let's help out these poor swords. Death wish? Walking through a war zone? 
Listen, local. If you want to be of use, help us clear the mutants between here and our base camp. If not, stay the hell out of our way. Well, you're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Oh! Happy for I can overextend. Um, how many bullets do I have to pump into this sucker? You dude are uh, seriously overextended. Oi! Watch your fire! Hey, 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 What the fuck? That was random. Alright. Let's try that again. This time I'll switch to something that doesn't spread quite as much. Okay. So long as you guys don't start shooting at me again. Come on. Right. What's my fly? Once more with feeling. Yeah. Come on. Don't know why I've got the style right again. Push flat. Alright, there we go. Now, these guys aren't going to get pissed off at me again, are they? You go splat. You dude were just standing there like a derp. Alright, getting into a bit more close quarters. Switch to the laser shotgun. Hi. You stop that. Whoa. You're one ugly son of a bitch. Who's leading who here? Because it seems like I'm on point and I'm the only one doing anything. Whoa. There you are. Alright. Which is all painless. Ow. Take cover from that minigun. Jimmy the shoulder. Come on. Alright, they got him pretty well in hand. Shoot you in the face. Take care of this mini gunner. Should be one more shot to the face. There we go. All right. Nope. Guess not. No hardcore parkour for me. Now, F5. The F5. There we go. All right, push forward to the base. You guys really suck at tactical battles like that. All right, dude. All right, local. Mind explaining what you're doing here? Hey, I was just wandering around here and looked like you guys needed some help. Well, isn't that nice of you? Looks like things have calmed down now, so why don't you just run along? Hey, what's that on your wrist? That's some kind of computer, isn't it? This? It's my P.3000. Wanna look? Isn't that fancy? Listen, kid. Maybe you could help us out. We've been looking for someone like you. Why don't you head inside and talk to Protector McGraw? I'll radio ahead and let him know you're coming. Marill calling you. Uh-huh. Yeah, we took care of him. Hey, what are those guys shooting at? You want to we took out all the mutants. Alright, then. Damn 
we go. Now, I'm surprised this elevator shaft was instanced on this side of the loading screen. I would have thought it would be like the um, Washington Monument and have the uh, shaft instanced in the main world. All right, you. Keep your weapons holstered, your hands to yourself, and your mouth shut. Follow me. You've got too many rats, dude. You sound like a ghoul. And once again, the slow plod through the base. Protector, like you asked. Thank you, Defender. Give us a moment, please. All right. Sir, I'm going to say again that I don't like this idea. Noted, Defender. That'll be all. Yes, sir. So you're the one Morel sent down. I'll be perfectly honest. I'd trust a Wastelander to shine my power armor, and even that's pushing it. But you do have that computer there on your wrist. Hmm. I can see now that Morel made the right call. Maybe you can be useful after all. So, my paper makes me unique. And you need me because of that. Hmm. So you do have half a brain. That's good. I'll keep it simple. I need you and I need that computer of yours. You help me out, and I'll do what I can to help you. This isn't an offer the outcasts extend to anyone, so you really should think carefully about it. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna call you Sergeant Hyantite. Well, what is it you need me to do? Actually, we'll take this one. Spit it out, McCraw. I ain't got all day. Wasting your time, am I? You're in my house, reject. You do well to remember that. Now shut up and listen. This could be worth your while. Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door, and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility simulation program will gain access, but it requires a certain interface, like your Pip-Boy. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. Do that and you'll get a share of the gear. Simulation? Like a computer simulation? Of what? It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. It was a pretty significant event in American history, according to our scribe. I won't lie to you. It's heavy combat. Safety protocols disengaged. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you brief. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Hmm. I'm liking the sound of this. More slow plodding. That can't be comfortable. Alright, spill it, Mr. Ghoul. Knock, knock, Olin. Got a new best friend for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know that wasn't my fault. Sure, whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. Great. Another local. Alright. So what is it? You're here to help? Fine. Then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Nice attitude. This is how you treat everyone that tries to help you? Until you actually do something that helps us out, you're just one more liability. Can you tell me more about what you're doing here? The same thing we always do. Recover technology and preserve it, making sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. McGraw's hope is that whatever's in here will give us a big advantage. I'm not convinced, but I'm on his side. Mm-hmm. Well, I think this has gone on long enough, so we'll jump into this pod in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Until next time, see you later.